My name is Hayley Berlin and I am a baby care consultant, which all started um, oh, about 35 years ago. Um, when I was at the tender age of 16, I started nursing in a tiny little hospital in South Africa uh, with two wards, a general ward and a maternity ward upstairs. It wasn't very long and I was worming my way upstairs to the babies and that was when the little love affair with babies started. Um, I had a way with them and in those days mums didn't leave the hospital f until the babies had regained their birth weight so that could be anything from five to ten days so I was in my element I was there teaching them teaching them confidence helping them bath their babies the breastfeeding and it was awesome um, I stayed in maternity um, for about four years and then went and had my own children three biologically of my own, and then took on my husband's three, my present husband's three. And um, then we immigrated to um, England, and I saw that it was all maternity nurses available, and I thought I could do that. But it wasn't that easy because I didn't have um, hands-on experience. Um, so I started with the elderly people and signed up with MNT and just did every single course out there. Not that I thought that the course was the most relevant thing, because what I did find was your hands-on experience the most important. You can have any book to learn, but unless you actually get your hands on those babies, listening to their mums and their dads and sorting out the problems hands-on, there's no way so you're going to be able to sort out somebody's problem from a book. And that was it. That was the beginning. Having said um, the fact that I'm a maternity nurse and a baby care consultant, um, there's a million and one things I can do um, with mums and babies regarding all aspects of looking after your baby and that. But since I've been um, doing it for years now, there's, there are a few things that actually touch my heart more. And that's um, the most important is sleep deprivation in the family. Because to have a successful, loving family, you've got to have a successful night's sleep all around the whole family. And um, I've focused on that um, from anything from two months to four years old. I've been dealing with um, babies and toddlers, going into households, teaching them about their babies, um, learning, teaching them to embrace the cry, not to fear the cry. And that is what I focus on, is teaching them how to read their baby, how to understand their cries, and how to react accordingly. And that's what it's all about. Another topic that I've become interested in is reflux. Um, possibly because I've suffered from it all my life, and I'm still on low sec myself. Um, my son, who's now 26, he screamed for eight months from birth. And in those days, they didn't even know what reflux was. I just fed him more. Fed him and fed him and fed him, which is the worst possible thing you can do for reflux because that's what causes the acid that builds up and down the esophagus. So um, I started working with mums and just started researching, teaching myself um, on how to manage, how to go through the... I'm no expert on reflux and I'll never ever profess to be. I think that... A specialist, a gastroesophageal specialist is an expert on reflux, but I know the signs, I can pick up and diagnose very quickly, quicker than a GP, far quicker than a GP, I can because I have more dealings with the baby. In fact, I've helped GPs <laughs> diagnose reflux um, because they don't always listen to the mum, but they'll listen to me because I've had you know loads of experience and I can say, uh, excuse me, that medication's not working because of this, and I've been watching the body language. This is what's happening, and mum has a, you know, a fact of life. Here yeah, she's telling the truth. There is something not right. Newborns and underweight babies I love as well. I love um, trying to build their weight up, get them to feed, because they're very sleepy babies, prem babies, and I'm good at um, getting their weight up and getting them to feed. To me, it's, it's, such, oh, it's such a delight to absolutely go into somebody's house and see chaos and then just bring it all back to harmony again with just getting mums, you know, on track, learning how to deal with their babies, 
sorting out routines. Um, if they have reflux, um, go through all the right channels with the doctors, medication, and if need be, go to specialists, teach them how to manage their reflux babies, and just bring harmony, just bring peace, just bring love, and just back to being what babyhood is supposed to be all about and motherhood, you know, a time of joy and love and, and, and entertainment, really, not sadness and fear and anger. And, and that's what I do.